St. Patrick's, Patrick's Day. Day. Hi, I'm Lemon. And I'm Priyanka. And welcome to Come, Come Through. Through. Yeah, that's and then right. And explain the show. Like, if you don't know what the show is, this watch last month. We feel like um, we should not explain ourselves anymore. At, at this point, just just say like, to if you. you don't get it, you don't get it. And if you get it, you get it. And if you get it, but you don't get it, then that's okay too. Sometimes people want content to want content. Do you know what I hate? When people like don't get a joke on Twitter or something, and then they just spend like the whole comment section being like, what, what does it mean? I don't get it. I'm like, if it's not for you, it's not for you. We're going to count down our five top favorite things that we love. Our current must have. Our current must do. <laughs> have you ever done a what's in my bag? I've always mm. wanted to do one and fill it with like a bunch of insane things. Literally, my bag is so boring. Well, not the outside of it. What's it's in your bag? Louis Vuitton, bitch, which I have to sell to pay for my music video. But I will say that right now, it would be like allergy medication, a pair of sunglasses, my ADHD medication, your favorite, <laughs> Tiger Balm, lip gloss. A bow speaker, a toothbrush case without no toothbrush in it, keys to my <laughs> old apartment from five years ago that I no longer live in. Um, what's in that pocket? An SD card, a hard drive. Okay, that's so actually like, like pretty good. That's not that not boring. interesting. Like not celebrity. What's in my bag? That that's giving no, like yeah. real. What's in my bag? Like, like I love when the girls pull out like this is my Dior spray. Yeah. Like I use this to spray my car when it smells. And yeah. Like, like, no, you don't, bitch. You don't. No, you don't. You buy in the Your assistant nine. packed your Birkin. Anyways, but I've always wanted to do one and fill it with like, that. <laughs> with just like truly insane, insane things. Yeah, like a dildo. I can't even think. I, I guess a dildo would be. Exactly... There's been so many online videos of people like sex toys being revealed in, in airport security and they're acting like they're embarrassed. My thing is, it's like security does it too, babe. Like security goes on break and fingers their buttholes too. Like it is, this is the community that Airports we live in. Airports make everyone horny and that's okay. And that's totally fine too. Like don't act like you're embarrassed. Like, oh no, he took out my dildo. It's like, yeah, it's security. Like you're going to get checked, hon. Like don't act so I bad. hate airport security. It's infuriating. Well, because they think that they're like running the government. So they're like, oh my oh, God, man. all the time. I want to be like, you know, you're not a cop, right? Rent a cop, hon. Like, you know, you actually have no real authority over us. Except for my girls at YYZ International, the girls <laughs> specifically, because they recognize me every single time. I mean, I love when they're girls. nice, it's a different world. Let's kick okay. this countdown off, shall yeah, we? let's do it. What's your number five? Okay, my number five is, okay, this is going to be the most white girl thing I've ever done in my life. I doubt it. Stanley Cups. How horrible that my brain was thinking the hockey. The hockey one, I know. My God, that was, I was like... <laughs> You're like, go NHL, go. Yeah, I was like, I'm so sorry. You're like, hon, am I in the wrong studio today? Yeah, like, who's that? Even with the lead in them? What? What do you mean? What do you mean? Have you not heard about this yet? No, tell me everything. Honey, let's just Google it. Yeah. Let me tell what? you. Let me tell you all the things. Stanley Cup's lead. Stanley Cup maker says products contain some lead. Yeah, should we be worried about exposure? Yeah, there's like... All of this stuff coming out about how there's like literally lead in all of them. Oh, that's why I look so different. It led you down a bad path. It, okay, well then, I guess I can't like it anymore. Never mind. No, you still can. Oh, really? My thing is, it's like we're gonna die. That's okay. inevitable. So I'm like, if you're having fun while you're alive, to me, it's By like, that's worth it. <laughs> I want to say that like what I love about it is that like it is a craze that makes no sense. Everyone just like wants to be obsessed with it. I totally, like my thing, you've also always loved like a Tumblr. Like, so I do see that for you. you. But my thing is like with, with the Stanley specifically, I'm yeah. like once you have one. Isn't that enough? The thing is, too, is that they're actually not even spill proof. You can't throw it in your bag. They're good. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm saying... You Love them. a water bottle. Save the environment. Plastic water bottles. However, However, you need one. Unless you're bringing seven different liquids with you all day mm-hmm. <laughs> as you drink your plastic water bottle. <laughs> Unless you bring like a lemonade and a water right. and then, you know, and then I have my little one with Coke Zero in it and then yep. I have a hand- can of pea soup. And right. Have- mm-hmm. Unless you're doing that, you really only need one Stanley. No, it's true. You only need one Stanley, hunt. Why are there videos of girls being like toying my Stanleys? I'm like, unless... wait, why do you have 30 water bottles? No, but unless it's a, your collector thing. No. I'm sorry, but that's not a collectible to me. If you're collecting Stanleys, I'm so sorry, but you need to find a hobby. People also collect the Crocs at a one point. Like, people just la- like to collect. And I think that you all should start collecting my merch. And I think you should start collecting my concert t- tickets. And even if you're not going to be there, just buy 200 of them. Because you can collect the little stubs and then I can sell out. I mean, yeah, trust me, you're sold out. <laughs> what is your number five? <laughs> my number five is Hillary Duff Bang. You have a wig like that. And I'm talking like a little curtain bang, but in the specific like caramelly brown, like Which is like, like a little glossy, like, yeah. you know what I mean? But also a bang in general. I think Good. that bangs are going to be a very populous. Populous? 
I want to be popular. I said popular. But... Popular. But I don't know. I feel good about it. <laughs> oh, wow, the titties coming out? <laughs> oh my god. What happened? They're yours. My titties are always coming out. I quite literally just went upstairs and I was like, I need something to fill my bra and then took Priyanka's boob. I love that. I love you. I love you so much. Okay. No, I like your... bangs. I'm actually in, but side bangs or curtain, not blunt yet. Okay. I'm on a journey. Not yet, but I think it's the year of the bang. Yes. Bang me, baby. Bang and me. And I'm feeling also for drag queens, there is something really gorgeous about knowing when you're gluing your lace down that it's like, no one's going to see it anyways. No. So it's like, if it's a little fucked up, like mine's a little fucked up right here. And it's like, you can't really hide it. It's right in the middle. It is what it is. It's right in the middle. But if my lace is fucked up right here and here, you never know. And what you don't know won't hurt you. My number four is Tate McRae. Lover. I Love don't have much anything. to say other than I love her. What's the favorite Tate McRae song? Guilty Conscience on her last album. Or not her, her current her current album, Think Later. She's it's just hype. She's just so hype. She's Have working with her? all the right people. I met her. I interviewed her at the Junos. And I was just like, how does it feel to be the best songwriter ever? And she was like, she screamed at me and said, girl, stop. And I was like, I want to be your best friend. I love her. There's something refreshing about her. I love that she's like clearly a product of hard work. Like she, she it's is. like everyone like when greedy blew up, everyone was like, "Who is this industry plant?" And all the Twitter fans were like, "Well, actually, when she was thirteen, yeah, she honey. was on so thinking she, it. Like, and she's then she wrote songs on down. her U- YouTube channel, and then she, and then she, it's like so cool to see that like she literally has grinded for this career. And I taught her at a workshop when. I was probably 16. I love that. So she might have been, I don't know, I don't know how old she is, to be honest. Basically what I'm saying is all of Tate McRae's success is because of me. Because I taught her one jazz funk class when I was 16. Do you remember what the song was? So I actually, I remember what I taught the seniors because I got in trouble. But moral of the story is I taught a really inappropriate combo and then the faculty director came over and was like that was such a good class never teach that again i'm dead i'm fucking dead um so i, I remember teaching that but was. i'm pretty sure she was in the intermediate okay class so i don't remember what i what i taught her Premis- i taught tap and i taught jazz funk hey, what is your number four honey bunny what is my number four okay my number four is the future okay i just feel really good about it Honestly, same. And not specifically I even, yeah, not specifically even my future, which obviously is gorgeous. But I just mean the future feels like really. I just feel good about it right now. I actually do feel like there is something. There's some good juju in there's the There's something air. brewing, and the future. Yeah, I, I, that's. I'm not gonna get too. I like too that. With no, it, I like this because it's just like it's the future. My number three mm-hmm. is six the musical. Have you seen it yet? Okay, I did not like it. I'm so sorry. I know, I know, I know. Okay, wait, 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 Very wait, wait, talented. Wait, 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 wait. Don't wait, get me wrong. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Tell me, tell me, tell me. You cannot come into my house and sit there under these beautiful lights and come for Six the Musical. Stanley Cup, sure, whatever. Watch me. Six the Musical, the nerve. The okay. Courage, courage. You're courageous. I am obsessed and you're... A jealous little cunt. So I love this musical so much. <laughs> I literally watched this mu- mu- musical, I think I'm on my third time now, and I am so obsessed with it. I've had some issues, like, going back and forth with who I want, want to be. I feel like I truly am all of them. I love the show because it's a pop concert. Like, I sometimes in, like, musical theater stuff, I have issues kind of, like, getting my brain to believe. But this I believe because it's so in my wheelhouse. Yeah. Like, I couldn't believe that it was a pop show. I couldn't believe that it was a band on stage. I was like, oh, my God, this is, like, is this written for me? Like, what's happening? And also, the first, when I went to go see the Toronto one, it was just kind of like, hey, do you want to come see it? I was like, yeah, sure. And I showed up, and then I checked the, the program, and I was like, oh my god, my high school best friend is in, in this. Oh, that's and so sweet. And we haven't, like, chatted since high school. So then, like, I, when I was watching her on stage, I was, like, crying. Oh, I'm always crying. Because I, I was like, it's such a good feeling to see somebody on stage doing exactly what they wanted to do. We used to perform pop songs in my bedroom all the time together. Like, I was like, you're doing it, bitch. That's hype. And seeing her fucking kill it, I was like, this is amazing. So it has a, st- has a special place for me, and I love it so much. And also, I didn't realize that, like, the fandom of Six is, like, a cult following. Oh, my God. They're they're going to come for me in the comments. It but... is the thing. Like, I, like, posted online, like, hey, who, like, likes Six, the, Six the, the Musical? And all of a sudden, like, it was like I was on Drag Race again. Like, all these comments. I was like, okay, wait. Musical so... theater fans are psycho. I love them. They honey. give they give the same energy as Drag Race. I love you. I... So my number two is the future. My number three is actually the past okay okay because like good times true and i you know i'm 28 okay and i feel like for a 28 year old i'm like i've done a lot of shit maybe too much actually so you're saying you feel accomplished i feel lucky and i feel very like happy that 
I've gotten to do so many cool things and that all of those things happened that the way they did, if that makes sense. Yeah. Because I'm like, even there's a lot of things that I'm like, that sucked in the moment. Okay. But now it's like, that kind of ate. Or like, you know, had my heart broken, mm-hmm. wrote a great song. True. There's so many situations like that got eliminated, but it's like, I'm fine. You yeah. know what I mean? I, I, but it's like beyond drag, just like, just the past is my answer. Output, posting, forward, forward, new, 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 new. We do not reflect as often as we should. And when you do, yes. you'll be surprised of how proud you are of, of yourself. Oh my God. Just to believe. You know what's the worst though? Every time I go back and I look at photos of myself when I was like 20, 21, 22, I'm like, why was I so skinny and thought I actually weighed 300 pounds? Yeah. That, that body dysmorphia got you. Like, I was like, oh my God, bitch, you're so hot. Why are you not living? Yeah. Which just makes me think now, if I ever look in the mirror and I'm like, oh, I wish. Because five years from now, you're going to think you're so hot. So just like lean into just imagining yourself five years from now being like, wow, I was so young and hot Period. all the time. You'll never not be happy. No regrets. A bit. You'll never be I don't know. Ever. I just feel like that's, that's, that's my answer. The past. The past. Okay. Number two. Mine. <laughs> Have you seen... American Nightmare on Netflix. No. Is this another like horrible, terrible story? Let me tell you something. This documentary had me gagged. Gag, 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 gag. This woman gets kidnapped. No one believes her. They start calling her the Gone Girl. Like, you know that movie Gone, Gone Girl? They're saying that she made it up just to get her boyfriend back. But she's gone. But she's gone. But then all of a sudden she just like traipses up the street to her dad's house. And everyone's like, okay, clearly you made it up. Like, and I believe that she made it up. And then all of a sudden it plays out. You're watching... You're gagged. You are gagged. I am gagged. This is the best thing I've watched in the last two weeks. Well, I haven't seen it, but it sounds. I'm like. Oh, I know you watched it because you're. You're. If you're watching, my, pause my, my... this and come back in three hours when you watch the whole thing. How long is it? Three episodes. Three hours. Three hours when you watch the whole thing, and let us know in the comments with one word. If I know my fans, they've already watched it because we're all fucked up. You watch it. I was gagged. Do you watch murder documentary? I don't want to watch it by myself because then I get like too gooped, and I'm like, I need. I need someone to talk to about it. So Fair. now I, I'm definitely going to watch this so that I can text you immediately after. It and is be like, so... <laughs> but I'm like, I hate finding out some really morbid... So thing fucked up. With, do you know what it I mean? Like I mean no, 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 but it was murder. really interesting. They're like, she was beheaded. I'm like, no, yeah, but in a very cool way. Beheaded. It's the point of Six the Musical. Divorce. Survive. <laughs> Number oh, two. I, I'm, I, this was a joke that I set up that I forgot because I was supposed to bring you something, but I forgot. So, so sorry. So what's your number two now? So my two, so I was going to say the present and then give you a present, which I have at my house, but I forgot to bring the present because I didn't think about it until this moment, actually. So there's a gift bag at my house <laughs> and my thing of the week is this present because I was doing the future, the So past, these fans have to wait till April to see this present? Like that's, that's a true No, because I'll forget it next time too. I don't want to know what it is. I wanna, yeah, I want here. you to like I'll open it. You. It's, it's stupid. Okay. But, well, I was setting up a joke this whole episode and then kind of got to the punchline and was like, oh, I forgot it. That's, that's like, such a funny joke. I was like, the future. I'm the gag. And then. Gagarina. Gagarina, Gagarina Jolie. It, it looks, looks like, like it's time, time for the best shit. Presented, presented by, by Tushy. <laughs> tushy, we just want to say that we love you. I actually love my Tushy more than anything. No, today it like came on and it was extra hot and it was just like, hot. Do you know those little fountains <laughs> and it's like a fish being like, yes. And the water's like, that's how I imagine. Yes. My tushy's treating me. My number one is here we go. Are you ready for it? Are you ready? I was like, it's the musical. I, I just want to make it clear that if you want to send me hate, mix. you're like, please hate me. For yeah. It. If you, if you're like, I'll never forgive you. That's totally fine. Just so you know. My number one is, Sleeping eight hours. People come up to me all the time. They're like, Priyanka, you never sleep. Priyanka, you are the hardest working person. Priyanka, you never sleep. How do you fit it all in? And I was like, oh, no, 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 baby, 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 baby. I get my eight hours. Yeah. Especially now. I don't drink it anymore. So, like, like I, I'm not partying. Even when I go out, I'll still make sure I get the eight, eight hours. Like, I, I don't care. Yeah. I mean. Like, sleep is so beautiful. Your skin looks better. You that. feel better. It is GorginaGeorgeJolie.com. Eight hours every single night, if, if you can. If not, six can work too, but like, baby. That's my number one. If you're ever like, I want to be prettier, go to bed. Just go to bed. <laughs> Just shut the fuck up and go, go to, to bed. Ba- and put your phone away. Okay, my number one, okay. the best shit me. for March is We're Going to Australia! Oh! Yeah, I'm really excited about that. I think Australians are very sexy. Right. Both, you know, both male, female, and and otherwise. I think Australian people are 
very fucking sexy. So that's selling for me, but also it's just so fun. I love touring with you. Australia is going to be fucking amazing. Australia is the ticket. I can't wait to be there with you. I feel blessed. I feel booked. I feel... I've never been there. You've never been? No. Okay, now it's time for the worst shit. Okay, what's yours? Mine is when these like people that are online that act like they're therapists, but they've never gone to school for therapists. Oh my God, life coach. My worst shit of, of the month, but also of all time, is global warming. I just feel like March should be a hot month, <laughs> and, and it's not, and that frustrates me. Well, that's it for coming through, everybody. <laughs> Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.